Vibe, and McDonald's scouted the hottest aspiring hip-hop producers to compete for a chance to collaborate with host and judge, Big Crit. After 10 finalists and three rounds, Crit announced Foreign Allegiance as the winners of the Big Mix Challenge. It's to experience somebody, um, you know, at that next level that is actually, you know, humble. It was more of a, I feel like it was more of a relatable, um, a relatable experience. So I definitely think it was, it was cool, like phenomenal. I couldn't have asked for it to be any better. What was it like working with Foreign Legions? It was dope because they played nothing but dope records. Um, it's one of those things where we, of course, we couldn't use all of them. And I would like to write to a lot more of the records, but the one we chose, I think, is a banger. Y'all got some jamming in that shit, though, so. You can fix your style more. Oh, hell, a lot easier. You just fix your style more. Oh, yeah, I, was, yeah. I, was I mean, but then you can play, y'all can play me shit that don't fit my style, because, I, yeah, you know, it ain't all samples and 808 drum kits for me, so. Actually, we didn't even create nothing really like that to uh, come here. We already had a whole bunch of beats. Like, we always constantly do beats anyway. So we just had some things that might would have fit you know him. Cold as ice, Berg, let me loan you if you wanna know. 32 degrees when I speak like I'm on the snow. Mm. Just having uh, beats, period, and which was great too because he was like, yo, let me hear something that don't sound like I would do it. So that was great and that was like the best thing because we was like, oh, we got a lot of that. The beat that I actually chose, what stood out about that, it was actually a record that I necessarily wouldn't have made for myself. I wouldn't have used those instruments. I wouldn't. It, I wouldn't have had those that kind of cadence with my drums. Once I heard the track, I understood what kind of content, what kind of flow I should have on that record. This song is about riding clean, shining, and balling. Like from just last week to the to now, that kind of stuff. This song is very uh, aggressive in its own little way. I think so. It's a feel good record though. Yeah, that kind of record. I think it's an incredible song. It sounds different from most of his uh, most of his previous work. And you know, I'm happy to hear the uh, the response to it. Really, it's, it's great. You know, what I'm saying just having somebody that of that statue to even be like, I want to do something like this. You didn't have to do nothing like this. So I thought it was great. Mad humble cats. You know, obviously they, they understand between sampling and you know just originality, drum cadences is definitely a wide range of music that they create. And that's super dope too. Um, not just for rap or hip hop, but R&B, pop. I heard a lot of those records in there too. We've kind of just, um, you know, been finding our way on our own, and just been, you know, um, blessed to to stumble upon, you know, opportunities or whatever through our hard work and dedication. And then their records have soul, and they come with records that have hooks on them, which is great for certain artists that might only be looking for a certain dynamic record. I'm excited for their future too.